hey good day guys you welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and in this tutorial i'll be showing to you what not to do and what to do before you run your analysis on product structure you don't want to just um, finish your modeling and go into analysis and um, discover that there are a lot of things that are wrong with your model and um, all that you have done before then right so i'll be showing to you what exactly you need to do before you run your analysis on product structure right if you are making contact with this channel for the first time i like that you use the subscribe button and like this video share with your friend that should get better in structural engineering and you get good that way right straight into the business because um this is going to be a short tutorial on what not to do and uh, what to do before you run your analysis all right so after you might have completed your model just like this and this is a cumulative result of several processes including generation of um the uh, general arrangement drawing and um using some general um, engineering judgments along our preliminary sizing and positioning of our structural elements across the framework and um, this also you are seeing right now what is left for us is to run analysis to obtain our um, reinforcement and to dis decide whether we are good to go on all of our um, assumptions, initial assumptions on all our sizing for reinforced concrete sections. All right, so to move um, and um, let's let's do what we have to do. All right, so after you might have completed your model such like this, you want to just check if there are errors in your project because if you do not confirm at this stage. And you go ahead running that um, analysis is going to um, give you an inadequate result or incorrect result because there are errors within your modeling so how do you confirm if you're good to go or not or if um, you need to check one or two things around the job that you have done in very simple steps right so get down to your analysis just the way you would have done that if you want to run your analysis or your design get down to bidding analysis once you click that you get yourself down here and our goal is to find the analysis now before you go ahead and do the bidding analysis you find this box building model check so what we want to do is we want to check our model to see if there are any errors around so that we quickly correct them at this stage before we run ahead to our design so that it won't give us incorrect results after we might have done the design so we click on building model check then um, we want to check for the overlapping slab we want to check for overlapping columns overlapping slabs with beams and wall check columns inside slab panel check yes overlapping beams and wall check and every other check as you're seeing here is going to be made with this building model check right so if you want to start you can just click start here and it begins to do the check for you right so this has ability to show you the number of errors or something that he perceives not to be correct because it's a program so there are some things he perceives not to be correct and some things that he would signify that it is incorrect so let's see this is saying number of errors two let's see if it's truly the an error or not all right so you can scroll to find what particular it's saying so this one says story one slab one s four zero 1s40 has very small areas so it says he recommends that we check the slab geometry and the same thing is for the second error which says we should check the slab geometry and we would like to do, do the check also to see our slab geometry if it's worth um changing or it doesn't really matter it doesn't really influence our design we're going to be, be discover here there could be different kind of um, errors um that product structure will point out to you as a designer of which you need to be sure it would actually have uh, an effect on your result your design result or not so you should um, pay attention to that also right so i can close then i check for slab 40 and slab 47 on the first story all right so we can close all this now i get myself to the first floor plan and i look for slab 40 and 47 all right okay so slab 40 is around this is a little part of this cantilever on the other side and there is really nothing you can 
do to this because that's how it's going to be practically right so he's just complaining because it has a very small area of which that is exactly how it is in your design you are not changing anything you have done it very correctly and the same thing applies to slab 47 um, on the other end the same situation it's very a small part of the cantilever extending from the other span to this place so right you might just have different kind of errors as it applies with whatever project you are doing now but it's essential that you check what is going on with your model before you go ahead to run the analysis so that you don't have a double job um double check or double job to do over and again right so i believe it should be cool with the building model check if you have any comments queries questions do well to use the comment section as i'll be there to attend to you right i am joshua the designer if you're not subscribed to the channel do well to subscribe to the channel till we meet in the next video bye